All right, I'm going to talk to you today about batteries. Uh, the reason that we're going to do that is because there's a lot of things that people don't get about. Them. Number one, when you call into our service department and you want to buy a battery for your golf cart, you need to know whether it's a 6-volt battery, an 8-volt battery, or a 12-volt battery. These are 6-volt batteries. And the way that you know a 6-volt battery is count the number of holes. Three holes times two, six volts. Each, each hole is a cell, and that's for two volts. If it's an eight volt battery, it's going to have four holes at the time. If it's a 12 volt battery, it's going to have six holes at the time. So that's pretty easy to figure out. So if six six volt batteries add up to 36 volts, then you say to yourself, how come I can't just put three car batteries? How come I can't put three 12-volt batteries in there? Well, there's a big difference between deep-cycle batteries and car batteries to begin with. Deep-cycle batteries are made to be recharged over and over at, to a very low discharge, very high discharge rate. So a car battery won't hold up to that over a very long period of time. And three 12-volt batteries will not send a car down, this cart down the road near as far as 6 volt batteries will 6 6 volts. So you're saying you've got 36 volts worth of batteries here. I can do the same thing with three 12 volt car batteries you're thinking. Well, the only problem with that is car batteries aren't made to be discharged as deeply as deep cycle batteries and eventually they're going to go bad pretty quick. The other thing with that is is the lower the voltage, the more the amp hours are in the battery, so the further the cart's going to go. So if you have six 6-volt six batteries, it's going to push the cart further than even if you had, uh, say, six 12-volt batteries and you still had it equal 36 volts, the cart wouldn't go as far on the 12-volt batteries as it will on the 6-volt batteries. So it's just kind of confusing to people, but I can guarantee you, if you want to go the furthest on a charge, that's the way the golf cart manufacturers design their carts to be able to do that. Uh, what about brands of batteries? Well, I'm not going to sit here and say well, this brand is no good because I'm probably going to get sued. So what I'm going to say to you is real simple that the manufacturers of golf carts use three batteries in their carts. They use Crown, they use U.S. batteries and they use Trojan. There must be a reason why, because they don't want warranty issues and they want everything to run really well for four years at least. So that's why that is what it is. As far as Blem batteries, you can buy Blem batteries. What is a Blem battery? Do you really, does anybody really care what the outside of a battery looks like? No, that's not how a Blem battery works. What a blend battery is, it's a battery that failed for somebody else. They brought back and they recharged it under the warranty, and they didn't find anything drastically wrong with it, so they give it to you. That's what a blend battery is. What's a rebuilt battery? Now, that's a real good question. Who do you think, is, how do you think they would rebuild a battery? What would they do? Well, I can tell you what they do when they sell you a rebuilt battery. They take the thing, they shake it, they turn it upside down, and they dump it out, and they refill it with new acid and water. There's nothing there to... Re <laughs> the, the, the part that makes a difference is the part you see when you take them caps off and look down in there, the lead. If the lead goes bad and it starts to dissolve into the water, that means that lead isn't there. So that battery is not going to be rebuilt. It's just got new acid and new water, and it might work okay for a little while, but it ain't going to last very long at all. Nobody's going to take apart this plastic case that probably, you see a plastic milk jug, it's about the equivalent to that. You know, they didn't cost much because you throw them away. Nobody's going to take that apart to salvage that plastic case. That's the only part in there that would be salvageable. So, rebuilt batteries is just somebody kind. Uh, batteries that they sell, uh, 
The one thing I was going to say about batteries is that you should know is that vibration is the major cause of batteries going bad in golf carts. That's why these things are fastened down from the factory. And I see a lot of you, you'll buy new batteries, you'll throw them in there, the little rods are rusted out, so you won't bother to fasten them down. And you wonder why your batteries didn't last half as long as they did when they were new. Well, that's the reason why. You need to eliminate the vibrations, the bouncing of the batteries. That's about all I can tell you about batteries. Call Beaver Creek Golf Carts at 815-723-9455. Visit us online at beavercreekgolfcarts.com or beavergolfcartparts.com.